Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar entitled Adapting to the New Normal Front Office Operations. I just want to acknowledge all of our viewers who are currently watching on the FB Live. Hit the like button and kindly share the live stream. And alam ko, meron mga nanonood dito from the other schools, so comment nyo ang mga schools nyo. So to formally start, it is my great honor to introduce to you our guest speaker this morning. She is a graduate of BS in Hotel Restaurant and Institution Management at De La Salle College of St. Benilde. She was a front desk associate at Best Western Premier F1 Hotel. She was also a former reservation agent at the Peninsula Manila, a former service quality senior agent at City of Dreams Manila. She was also a former duty manager at Dusitani Manila and former lifestyle manager at said Hotel BGC and assistant front office manager. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Ma'am Regina Joyce Ramirez. Good morning. Mayap aabak kekayungan, if tama ba yung pronunciation ko. I hope tama. Mayap aabak don Honorio Ventura State University and to all our participants in today's webinar. So thank you very much, first of all, for inviting me and for introducing me to your university. So without further ado, let us begin our topic for today. Allow me to share my screen. Ayan. Can everybody see my screen naman po? If meron hindi nakakakita sa screen, if you can just um send a message to the chat box. Ayan. So mukhang everybody can see my screen. All right, let's start. So right now, as mentioned by our dean, um, I will be discussing the new normal front office operations. Um, so if you may ask, uh, why do we need to establish safety protocols during the new normal? Bakit kailangan na um, merong i-establish ang bawat hotel na sarili-sarili nilang safety protocols? Eh, yung government naman, meron naman nang na-establish, may mga rules naman ng government. So let's first check the importance. So, the importance of safety protocols first is to ensure that employees and guests are protected from the virus. So, we do not just protect our guests. It's also very important for hotels to protect their employees because without the employees, um, the hotel will not be able to run, diba? So, the employees are the biggest assets of every establishment, of every company, Kaya, very important din na pati sila ay ma-protectahan from the virus. Second is to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Number three is to, is to encourage confidence for the guests and employees, knowing that the hotel is compliant, vigilant, clean, and virus-free. So, of course, kapag... Um, known na yung hotel or yung establishment to um to be very very strict to be very very clean and safe from the coronavirus um mas maa-attract yung mga guests to go to the hotel syempre on the other hand if di ba kapag merong hotel or establishment na nabalita na uy may positive case sa ganitong hotel may guest or may employee na nagpositive sa covid of course, yung mga ibang guests, mag-iisip na sila, hala, ayoko muna mag-stay doon kasi um, baka magkaroon din ako ng virus. That's why it's also very important um, for your to keep the hotel, to keep your hotel safe and clean from the virus kasi it also affects the business. And then number four, very important, is because the government requires it. Of course, we all have to comply with what with what our government say, yung mga regulations, which is also for our own good. All right. So the next is, so these are the common hotel operations enhancements. These are the practices that we normally see in almost all hotels and even other establishments like malls, banks. So, ito sila. Body temperature check to all warm bodies entering the hotel. So, we can all, um, we all see that naman, di ba? Even when we go to the malls, ayan. So, um, before nung kaka-start pa lang ng pandemic, if we notice lahat ng um, security guards, di ba? Meron sila nung thermometer gun. So late um recently nagkaroon na nung yung thermometer na lang na nasa stand, ba? Para 
mas mabilis na and of course less human to human interaction or human to human contact. And then the protective acrylic shield at the front desk. So if you can see dito sa photo that I placed on the slide on the right side, so there is an acrylic divider. Um, it is very very important for the protection of both both the guests and the employees. And number three, common hotel operation enhancement would be all staff should wear the prescribed protective gear. So it depends on the department kung ano yung mga protective gear for them, but specifically for front office, we would wear face mask. And then there are some hotels that they ask their um, front desk employees to wear face shield as well, pero some don't don't um, require to fail to wear face shield anymore since meron naman ng acrylic um, divider. Number four, face mask to be given to registered guests for free. So if you notice then kanina, di ba, sa video that you played sa introduction, so there was a part na may hotel na nagbibigay siya ng face mask. So it's also very common um, since um, one of the regulations ng hotel is to wear face mask at all times. That's why um, they also provide face mask to the guests. And then number five, contact tracing reference and health declaration card will be added in the registration process. So um, if you notice sa mga malls, di ba, before we can enter, we are asked to sign, um, to fill out a small slip wherein we put our name, birthday or age, address, contact number, um, and then there would be some questions asking about our travels and then if ever may exposure but to COVID and if ever we're experiencing some symptoms. So we will see later on how we do that sa hotel. And then number six, um, we, um, the hotels establish signage program for all sanitation and social distancing measures. So it, uh, it's also very common nowadays that you will see signages indicating, um, indicating that to observe social distancing. And then there are also signages, especially elevators, stating that there are only a maximum number of people. There should only be maximum number of people inside an elevator car. So normally, sa um, standard elevator size, it's maximum of four people. But of course, the bigger the elevator, um, mas ma pwedeng madagdagan. Pero on a normal basis, maximum of four. And then you will also see signages ng um, the regular sanitizing of the hotel is there. So, yan. Marami kayong makikita. And if you can also notice, di ba, sometimes some establishments, they also have security guards na nag-hold mismo ng signage. So, hindi lang siya nakadikit sa walls. So, para talagang um, ma-remind yung mga guests or yung mga customers, there are also roving security officers who would hold the signages. Ayan. So, right now, we will be discussing the stages wherein the front office department is able to, um, to practice and apply the safety protocols in the new normal. Ayan. So the first stage is the pre-arrival. Pre-arrival is when, um, as the word states, bago dumating yung guest sa hotel. So may matatanong natin, paano may establish ng hotel yun yung um, safety protocols um, kahit bago dumating sa kanila yung guest? So we will discuss that later on. Second stage is... Third stage is departure, or once the guest is about to check out and leave the hotel. Yeah. So the first stage, pre-arrival. So upon making a reservation, a copy of the hotel's protocols are being sent so guests can prepare and be informed of what to expect when they arrive. Um, yung, nor yung common um, booking procedure, it's either the guest calls or the guest sends us an email. Um, so it's still being practiced or sometimes online through Agoda or Expedia, ganyan. But 
school. Here in the new normal, we also send them already a list of the guidelines that they can expect to see sa hotel. So this is a sample. Ayan. So um, for example, ito, it's being um, informed to the guests that they will be there will be daily or regular sanitizing of all high traffic areas or public areas. That mandatory temperature check will be practiced when they arrive, and then that there are there will be um, hand sanitizers or alcohols na nasa dispenser to be spread out or distributed in the different parts of the hotel, social distancing, yan. and then to shift to digital guest um, communication, like, for example, most hotels use Viber or even FB Messenger para mas accessible sa mga guests. So if you could ask, why, why, ano, why do we need to inform the guests about this before they arrive eh um wala naman silang choice but to but to follow it of course we are still a hotel um even if we are already in the new normal of course we would still need to practice anticipation we would still need to anticipate um the guest needs and one of those of course is we would like to tell them beforehand what they should expect para then ma put at ease yung guests na um, the hotel that they are going to, that they are checking into is very safe and clean. That's number one. And number two, para hindi na din magkagulatan when they arrive to the hotel, kung ano yung mga ginagawa ng hotel. Alright? So, number two, this is one of the very crucial for the front desk, um, for the front office department. Arrival. So, first is airport arrival. It's a given that we have, that most of the guests of the hotels, especially business hotels, are foreigners or um, coming from other countries, even if Filipinos sila. So, especially nowadays, na medyo, na lift na yung travel ban. So, there are, there are a few um, foreign, foreigners or other, um, out of the country guests who are able to travel already that's why meron itong part airport arrival so all guests who book the hotel car or um yung magsusundo sa kanila from the airport to the hotel is being met by the airport representative so once they arrive the airport representative welcomes the guests and reminds them of social distancing practice inside the vehicle so um, aside from the guidelines that we send to the guests um, upon reservation, the airport rep also reminds the guests about it para, um, para talagang hindi makalimutan ng guests yung mga guidelines natin. And then once the guests are inside the vehicle, the driver welcomes the guests and turns on the TV screen that reminds guests of the city ordinances regarding safety amid the coronavirus. Um, although itong TV screen na to, it depends as well on the facilities or the equipment that the hotel has. But um, nowadays, kasi there are... Um, most of the hotel cars already have TV screens or they have signages in their cars showing the safety guidelines of the hotel and also of the city or the location where the hotel is in. So, ayan. So, once the hotel car arrives the hotel and the guest is there, hotel arrival. Dito, makikita nyo na din yung very big difference compared to before. So, before, as you notice, um, pagpasok na rin sa hotel, usually check lang ng bag and then pasok na tayo sa loob. It's, it's a breeze. It's, um, it's very fast. But ngayon, since new normal na tayo, so first is the security officer gets and records the temperature of each guest. So, so, madi-differentiate din natin siya sa, ano, di ba, sa malls or sa banks na they just get and then, okay, pasok ka na. Pero sa hotel, since, um, um, since very, very crucial then because the guests really stay and stay there for a long time, di ba? So, um, aside from getting the temperature, the security officer gets the 
um, records the temperature of each guest. Next is, should arriving guest body temperature is 37.5 and up? Ayan na. So, kung for example, nag-test ng, nag-chinect yung temperature and then nakita na higher than 37.5, the guest will be asked to rest and will be rechecked by the security after 10 minutes. So, if you might be wondering, bakit mag-rest mo na? Of course, sometimes kasi we couldn't avoid na, for example, galing tayo sa labas, mainit, or naglakad tayo, or medyo may ginawa tayong ibang activities, di ba? Our temperature seem to, or tend to go up. That's why it could also be a factor. So, it doesn't mean na porket, um, uy, mataas na yung, ano, yung temperature ko. Um, it doesn't mean naman na may COVID ka na agad. So, of course, the hotels also consider that. So, after 10 minutes, if the temperature remains, the duty manager will be immediately notified. And then, the duty manager, yung procedure niya on how to handle this depend on every hotel. Yeah. Guess, and this is one of the procedures that the duty manager may also practice. So, guess showing COVID-19 symptoms. So, aside from high temperature, baka nag declare na din ng guest na um, sumasakit yung ulo niya or sometimes may stomach ache siya since it's one of the symptoms or for example, um, sinabi na rin niya that he or she has if experience, experiences difficulty in breathing. So um, with that, the guest will be brought and isolated at the hotel's designated holding room. So, hindi pwede, of course, stay lang siya sa lobby or sa entrance to avoid exposure to other guests. Para just in case, positive na siya, hindi ma-infect yung ibang guests and ibang employees as well. And also, um, the designated holding room is also established to avoid panic na din sa ibang tao. Siyempre, pag nakita nila na, may commotion or merong hinahandle na certain guests, di ba? Sometimes it causes panic and we don't want that to happen in the hotel. And then, case will be, in case um talagang mataas yung, ano niya, yung temperature niya and talagang meron talaga siyang signs ng COVID after um pag nasa designated holding room na siya, the case will be reported to the Department of Health or the barangay who will then pick up the guest showing the COVID-19 symptoms. So, bakit kailangan i-report sa Department of Health sa barangay? Of course, it's one of the regulations and rules of the government. We really have to declare it para sa Number one, sa proper monitoring. And then number two, um, para din sa proper um, isolation, prevention of ng spread ng virus, di ba? And para din matulungan natin yung person. And then, of course, should guess temp body temperature low be lower than 37.5 and doesn't show any symptoms, guests will then be allowed to go to the front desk and proceed the check-in. All right. Okay, so next. Yan. So once na nagpunta na yung guest sa front desk, nandiyan na, kaharap ni na siya. For example, you're the front desk agent. So mag-check in na siya. So the front desk agent or the FDA welcomes the guest and asks for any government-issued ID and asks permission if the ID can be scanned and archived. Although in our um, hotel, um, what we normally do is upon reservation pa lang, we ask already for a copy of the passport or the ID and then para less um, human to human contact upon arrival, um, we save that yung copy ng ID nila in our computer and then once the guests arrive, we just compare yung picture ba na nandun sa ID, yun din ba yung guest sa harap mo. And then, of course, pwede naman if you are, um, kunyari, medyo iba yung itsura niya sa picture sa passport versus sa itsura niya sa personal, it wouldn't be bad naman to ask the guest for a copy of the passport. It's okay if pakita na lang niya sa acrylic, di ba? And then, if wala talaga tayong nakuhang 
copy of the ID upon reservation, we would really have to ask for the hard copy and ask permission for the guest if we could scan it. And then number two, so while it's being processed, nagsiscan kayo ng ID, the FDA asked the guest to scan the QR code that will lead to the online health declaration form, which guest is required to complete. So normally sa mga front desk sa side, merong QR code na doon, and then the guest is asked to um to fill that out. So we we avoid using na yung mga slips kasi syempre it adds to the human-to-human -human contact. But of course, syempre, we also have other guests who don't have access, wala silang QR code scanner or may problem sila sa internet or sa phone nila or they just find it um, a bit um, tedious or mahirap to, to use the online health declaration form. That's why um, we also prepare na rin yung slip just in case. So, But it also contains the same questions kung ano yung nasa online. And then the FDA executes the check-in procedure based on the hotel standard. So other procedures naman that the hot for check-in um, will still be applied like um, yung giving recap of the reservation, like for example, um, sinasabi ng front desk agent kung ilang nights of stay, gan siya katagal, ganon. So it's, it depends on the hotel standards, but it will still be followed. And then, contrary to the usual check-in process, so the usual check-in process kasi is we ask for a deposit for the number of nights stayed plus incidental deposit. What is incidental deposit? Incidental deposit is what the guests would um, give as deposit on top of the All the guests naman read the, their emails and then Sometimes they read it but then they forget or baka may questions sila. So it's also very important na sabihin niyo ng front desk agent. Alright, and then the front desk agent informs the guest of the messaging app that can be contacted 24-7 for any concerns or requests. So as what I've mentioned earlier, in our hotel, we used Viber. Actually, we have um, Viber, FB Messenger, and WhatsApp. So, doon sa front desk, meron nakapost na din yung mga QR codes of each of those apps para the guests can just scan that and use that to contact us for any any concerns or any um, requests during their stay. Alright, next, sa luggage delivery, baka matanong nyo, um, we are avoiding human contact or we are trying to eliminate or limit that. But paano pag luggage delivery? Ayan, sa mga bellman natin. So upon arriving to the room, the bellman to ask guest permission if he could be allowed to enter the room to bring in the luggage. So um, before that pala, um, bago mag umakyat yung guest sa, iakyat yung luggage yung guest sa room, Sa baba pa lang sa may entrance, sinasanitize na yun ng um, security natin or ng bellman. So, lahat ng luggage, um, regardless if um, mag, regardless if um, mataas yung temperature ng guest kanina or mababa, so sinasanitize na yun agad. So, it is ensured that um, bago iakyat sa room niya, nakasanitize na yung luggage. Yan. And then for any guest requests, so guests are encouraged to use the hotel's messaging app for any concerns or requests to avoid use of the in-room telephone. Um, all rooms naman have their own telephones, but we highly encourage the guests, syempre, to use na lang their own mobile phones to send sa messaging app para then. Um, just to be sure na less contact talaga, but of course, the phone is still accessible. And also, one of the reasons din kasi is since um, the pandemic, it's no secret naman that um, the hotel has um, limited manning already, the hotel industry, or um, meron na siyang, as you call it, skeletal manning. So sometimes, kung sino yung front desk, siya na din yung guest service, or siya na din yung telephone operator. So with the use of the messaging app, 
the front desk, wherever he or she is, ma-access niya yung messaging app na yun. Kasi normally, ang telephone operator, kasi di ba yung phone sila nasa back office or nasa release ng office. But since the front desk agent na is also the telephone operator, so it's really a big help yung mga messaging app. And the messaging app is being monitored 24-7 yun, by either um, by the front desk or guest service center agent or it could be one person lang. Once a request or concern is received, it is relayed to the concern department. And then each department, they have their own, ano na, they have their own guidelines and protocols na on how to handle each guest depending on the request. Ayan. So we go to the third stage, the departure. For the checkout, ayan. So normally, di ba, upon checkout, what the yung usual practice natin is the guests would go down to the front desk, sasabihin mo, check out, and then uh, medyo matagal pa kung naaalala nyo before. So ngayon, um, we do the check out procedure as fast as possible, as seamless as possible. So the guest is encouraged to inform the front desk once they are about to check out. So this procedure dapat na inform na rin ng front desk agent to upon check in. So for example, I'm the guest and I want to check out. I just call or I just message the front desk dun sa messaging app that I'm about to check out. Why is that? So that um the front desk can check if the guest has pending or unpaid charges. Um Kapag ganon, nag inform na siya. So, masya-check agad ni front desk kung, oh, meron pang hindi na babayaran si Ms. Ramirez or, um, or baka completely paid na siya. So, if there are no unpaid charges, guest is advised that he or she may proceed to depart the hotel without passing by the front desk anymore. And then, the key card will then be surrendered to the security officer at the exit. So, di ba? Sobrang... Totally lessened na yung human-to-human -human interaction or human-to-human -human contact. Normally, sa, hot, sa, sa, sa may security, sa may entrance or exit, there's, we have this box. Doon lang parang key card drop box. Yan. And then yung key card na yon later on, pag kinulet ulit, isa-sanitize muna ulit. And then, bago i, ipagamit ulit sa ibang guest. And then, as well, para din ma-inform to security who will be checking out, the FBA to inform security to monitor guests and inform front desk once the guest has actually left. So that it may be related to housekeeping and you may be checked out in the system. So it's very, very important to inform the security na may pa-check out na na guest kasi um, to avoid inconvenience sa guest. Kasi baka sa front desk, pinacheck out na natin. And then sa security, ayaw nilang palabasin. So, magkukos pa ng more conflict, di ba? So, kaya the front desk should really have the initiative and the proactiveness to inform security kung sino yung mag-check out na. Para pagbaba na nung guest, nandun na siya sa exit, um, smooth na or seamless na yung pag-check out. Hindi natatawag pa sa security na okay na ba to, ganyan-ganyan. So, let's, let's make it Let's still make it as convenient and as smooth to the guests as possible. And then, very important then that the security in turn will call back the front desk kapag ay umalis na si Ms. Ramirez of room 1203, for example. Um, para din ma-check out na sa system, sa system that we use is Opera. So, para ma-check out na sa system and ma-advise na rin si housekeeping para malinis na nila yung room. Um, on the other hand, hindi rin naman kasi pwedeng andun pa yung guest, sasabihan mo na si housekeeping na check out. So, baka puntahan niya yung room and then andun pa yung guest. So, it's, it would cause a much bigger problem. Okay. And then, if there are still unpaid charges, of course, the guest is advised to pass by the front desk to settle the charges and to process the checkout. So, sa video then that was shown earlier in the intro, um, nilalabas na dun sa acrylic divider yung credit card terminal. 
para yung guest na yung mag-swipe, yung guest na yung pipindot ng pin code niya. So, less interaction or less contact pa din. Ayan, guest is informed that an electronic folio will be sent to the provided email address. However, should guests prefer to have a hard copy of the folio, a copy is in is produced using the printer which is set up outside the acrylic divider. So, na-mention natin kanina, di ba? Yung printer is already set up outside the acrylic. So, ayan, um, naka, ano na, um, pag nag-print na yung hard copy, hindi na yung front desk yung mag-aabot. Tukunin na lang ni guest sa printer. So, less human-to-human -human contact pa din. Yan. So, um, do you have any questions, guys? We can proceed to the question and answer. Thank you po, Ms. Regina Ramirez, for that insightful talk. And to all our viewers, comment down all of your questions now. Habang naghihintay po tayo ng questions sa comment section, ma'am, during the registration, you were asked if you have any questions regarding the topic. So, Ms. Regina, ito po yung mga questions nila. For question number one, since the COVID-19 virus has several disadvantages in hotels, such as in lockdowns, it is prohibited to operate. On the other hand, what advantage does it bring to hotels? Um, actually, um, from my experience, the advantage that it brought, dahil nga nag-lockdown, di ba? So, bawal mag-travel, um, bawal din mag-commute-commute, ganyan. So, um, the advantage is brought, it brought us was that um, yung mga call centers or yung mga BPOs, they house their employees in our hotel kasi our hotel is located in in the central business district ng Cebu. So, sobrang kapitbahay namin yung mga call centers. That's why um, hinaus nila sa amin yung mga agents and contrary to um, what other hotels are experiencing, unfortunately, um, sa amin, napuno yung hotel namin which brought us a lot of business. Thank you po. For question number two po, any tips any tips on how to improve communication skills po? How to improve one of my very base some of my very basic tips to to um improve your communication skills is of course number one to read read a lot read um not just kung ano anong books but very um specifically yung self help books or be very much informed or be well informed or well aware of the current events of what's happening why do we have to read kasi para yung mga guests natin we are we are very, we will be confident enough to, you know, have um, small talks or open up conversations if, and alam natin how to react or how to respond if may guest gusto lang talagang makipag-usap sa atin. And ayun, um, for me then, I I really expose myself. I keep watching yung mga English um, movies, English TV series para ano, para mas mahasa or mas masanay akong mag-English din or makipag-converse. Okay, ma'am. For last question po, how does the industry protect its employees amidst the pandemic while rendering services to people? Um, how it protects? Ano, um, by this, by the very, very strict guidelines, um, Sobrang na-protect ng industry yung mga employees niya. Kasi if the industry did not establish these guidelines, di ba? Like yung mga guests, kailangan naka-face mask, kailangan i-sanitize, temperature check. Um, by establishing those guidelines na pro-protect talaga yung mga employees. Actually, yung ano pantay lang yung protection na binibigay for guests and employees, hindi yung mas protected ang guests or mas protected ang employees. So, equally protected both parties. Thank you po, ma'am. So, may mga tanong po tayo dito sa chat box. Pabasahin ko po ito para sa inyo from Abigail Tonido, Rotugal. Posible po bang maibalik pa yung dating sigla ng hospitality and tourism industry kahit new normal? Um, I, I cannot honestly say that um, 
maibabalik pa yung before talaga. I'm not sure kasi we are all still dependent on um, the status eh, of the pandemic, on yung sasabihin ng government regarding the regarding the guidelines or the protocols. But I guess what I can say is every hotel, they are striving to, ano, to bring back yung sigla even even during the new normal, um, they will come up with new ways or new practices para makapag-engage tayo with the guests um, without compromising our safety, without compromising our health, and by following the new normal procedures. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Abigail Tony Dorotugal for that question. And from Jovi Rose Cornelio Dugang naman po, how will you convince an unsatisfied guest of our hotel? Um, actually, it will depend on the issue or the complaint of the guest kung bakit siya unsatisfied. So, it's actually a different topic, no? Handling guest complaints. Um, it's Ayun, depende how you will, um, on what issue the guest is unsatisfied, bakit siya unsatisfied. Um, there is also this part na you will study kung anong klase siyang guest, what's the guest um, personality, disposition, yung mga ganyan. So, kailangan aralin muna um, how to read, paano mo babasahin yung guest, paano mo kikilalanin yung guest. Um, it will depend kung paano mo i-handle, paano mo siya i Resolve or Thank you, Po. Thank you, Ma'am Javi Rose, for that question. For the last question, Po, from Raiko Rex, naka PPE po ba si housekeeping when it comes to cleaning the room? Yes, most of the hotels, they require their housekeeping room attendants to be in PPEs. Very, very important yun. Actually, housekeeping room attendants, they are the ones who are very much exposed. Kasi, syempre, kumapasok sila sa loob ng rooms ng guests, they touch yung mga gamit na, na gamit na nung guests, no? So, it's very important that most hotels talaga, their housekeeping room attendants be in PPEs. Thank you, ma'am. So, my last question pa po pala. What will be the biggest adjustment made to adapt in new normal? From Robbie, Robbie Failago. The biggest adjustment is, um, like before, di ba, we are very much encouraged to um, engage with the guests. Talagang makikipag-usap tayo. Talagang... Um, we will interact with the guests pero it's a big adjustment talaga ngayon na um, sobrang lessened na yung interaction natin with them. Sobrang nabawasan na yung how we communicate with them, di ba? Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you din po sa lahat ng mga nagtanong. Shout out po sa mga taga Visaya sa State University, Bicol College, Mary the Queen College, Cebu Technological University, our Lady of Sacred Heart College of Gimba Incorporation, University of Makati, Access Computer College, Taguig City University, Wesleyan University, Arellano University Andres Bonifacio Campus, Cebu Technological University Molboal Campus, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Yuloyo Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology, St. Vincent de Ferrer College, Sorsogon State College Sorsogon City, Urdaneta, Northwest Summer State University, Occidental Mindoro State Univers State College, Our Lady of Fatima University. Shout out po sa inyo dyan. Republic of the Philippines, Don Honorio Ventura State University, College of Hospitality and Tourism Management. This certificate of appreciation is hereby awarded to Ms. Regina Joyce Ramirez for sharing her valuable knowledge as a resource speaker during the second Padayon Company webinar entitled Adapting to the New Normal Front Office Operations, given this 26th of February 2021, signed by our Padayon Company event manager, Tessalonia Sese, our meeting incentives conventional event instructor, Ms. Winona Hazel Lacanilao, and signed by the Dean of College of Hospitality and Tourism Management, Ma'am Kathleen Joyce Coronel. We hope that we can present this to you in person. But in the meantime, here's an e-certificate for you. So guys, 
If gusto niyo daw pong malaman yung guest handling, punta daw po kayo sa YouTube channel ni Ma'am Regina. It's Regina of Manila. Thank you so much po. Thank you so much everyone. Um,